Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video is about vitamin D3 and subsequently vitamin K2. And today's video was inspired by a short conversation at my local gym with a couple of members that uh, asked me a question and with answer I just realized uh, that many people cannot correlate a um, couple of things that happening to them with the lack of um, let's say nutrition but it's not really nutrition it's how we expose ourselves seasonally to conditions that um, uh, could be um, and one season are better than another also if you like this video or any other videos in my channel please hit a you know, thumbs up it helps me to promote my uh, videos my channel also if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and hit notification bell now also would like to mention everything that discussed in this video will be in video description down below it's easy to order from amazon and also the dosage that most of us will uh, require and about dosage i'll speak later so what led me to discussion about vitamin d3 uh, i think recently i made a video about um, how much people should exercise what lifestyle they should pursue and um, all of that was wrapped around healthy lifestyle so healthy lifestyle is not what i do it's not what someone else does it's what your body your soul requires to function well so yeah health is not a definition it's not a criteria it's when you feel at your best through your life speaking of best um the person i was talking today uh, exercised one and a half or two hours I remember what he say and uh, felt a little bit down and I just uh, try to remind the person that uh, exercise it's not a healthy thing to do exercise is a stressor and his health would be dependent on how much exercise he does what nutrition he takes and how much rest he gets so I believe he is overtraining and also have uh, not uh, quite uh, nutrition not quite uh, in check. So let's talk talking about and he said he just recovered from um, what looked like seasonal uh, common cold or maybe even flu. Um, and that person of darker skin and I say hey um, I just heard you recently did your blood test. Uh, what are your vitamin D3 levels? And he said, oh, I didn't do that test. I said, well, um, it's pretty important, especially people with darker skin, when conversion of UV radiation into um, uh, uh, vitamin D in, in, uh, in other elements in the body is not great at all because darker skin acts as a natural um, sunscreen. And he said, all right, uh, what should I do? And I said, first of all, start with your blood test. And again, I'm not a doctor. Everything that I mentioned in this video is not health advice. It's just to help you understand your uh, level of health. And if you do everything right, you may notice a couple of other things you may research. And one of those uh, things is I encourage you to do blood test and uh, check your vitamin D levels. And if they are low, the um, probability for you to get a common cold or seasonal flu increases exponentially. So let's say you identify that you need to take vitamin D. Uh, the dosage that most of the local pharmacy uh, pills provide you is between one to 5,000 are used um i use this for international units and even though number sounds very significant like five thousand it's very small dosage for most of the countries especially uh, those that uh, don't see much uh, uh, direct sunlight uh, like equatorial countries the uh, especially in the winter month when one day is shorter i would recommend to take 10 to 30 I use a day of vitamin D right 
So this is why I don't recommend to buy vitamin D in local pharmacy because if you buy one of the most expensive ones, they will come in 5,000 IUs and you will take a lot of pills with very little outcome. So link that was down below, uh, one pill is 10,000 IUs. I'm taking uh, two pills daily and check my vitamin D levels every half year via blood test. It's not a supplement, you won't feel any better. It just makes sure that your immune system is in check. So many people will ask, what about the vitamin D level toxicity? Yes, there were a couple of studies done about toxicity and people reach toxicity levels when they're taking more than 100,000 IUs a day. Look, even if you're taking 30, it may sound excessive, but it's definitely not toxic for human body. What is toxic though, it's uh, lean on one side of nutrition and, and neglect another. So when you take it vitamin uh, D3, it doesn't work well without uh, magnesium and especially vitamin K. When I say vitamin K, not K1, but K2 you have to have uh, either have diet rich in vitamin K2, which is mostly carnivore diet and not uh, any carnivore diet, uh, carnivore diet based on uh, animal organs, liver, heart, kidneys. Uh, you won't get it much from your steak. Um, so if you don't eat much of that, take uh, one tablet of uh, K2 between uh, 150 to 200 uh, I think it's in milli milligrams uh, I need to check labels so that's what I suggest to take together vitamin D between 10 to 30,000 I use vitamin K2 between 150 to 200 uh, milligrams and as part of the fitness regime take magnesium glycinate before going to sleep, it will relax you when you go to sleep and when you wake up uh, and you, especially when you exercise, magnesium may light. Really good uh, 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 supplement. So, um, I really hope that, uh, uh, especially if you're getting flus and, and sickness during the winter, I would like to prevent it. Uh, this video you find it helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, ask uh, in the comments down below. I'll try to answer them as um, thorough as I can. Just remind again, I'm not a doctor, it's not health advice, but your blood test should uh, uh, tell you more than what I'm guiding you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.